So I think this is another episode where I'm answering more questions. That's right. We're gonna start from Facebook. Okay, here we go. Your favorite video game. I'm really bad at video games. I didn't have- It's true. <laughs> I'm just really bad. I didn't have a video game system growing up. Because of that, I like lack all hand-eye coordination, but I really like watching other people play video games. What is your favorite food? That's so hard. Like the food I want to eat for the rest of my life. That's... I like, oh, oh go ahead. I like pie. <laughs> I thought about it and then I realized it's okay. obvious. I like pie. All right. So cobbler, I like cobbler. <laughs> Such a gay thing to like. <laughs> Becca Bird, it's a fun name. Do you think it's a real name? Probably not. Maybe she's a furry. Are feathers still considered furries? That's a great question. I think so. Cause like, are they fev fevies? Yeah. She said favorite pizza, but I'm, I'm wondering if that means like favorite toppings. Well, my favorite pizza <laughs> topping is anchovies. And I was really, really disappointed. Yeah, I love, cause they're so salty. I was so disappointed when I moved here. I like, bet you know, I know what else you like to eat. <laughs> I don't get that. Not never mind. Like you know, like in, in TV shows, in like Ninja Turtles, yes. like people are always getting anchovies in their pizza and being like, "Oh man, anchovies!" Like I always want that to happen, and it never <laughs> happens. There is that pizza though that you introduced me to. Oh yeah, Two, Two Boots, Boots Pizza. So if you want like kind of pizza, not topping, but like pizza company, Two Boots Pizza in New York. Our favorite one awesome. is the bird. The bird. The bird. Which her name was Becca Bird. Becca Bird. Whoa. Whoa that was back. What was your favorite cartoon as a child? Well, similar to my video game. I also wasn't really allowed to watch cartoons as a kid. That's, that's horrifying. Yeah, which is the jokes on my parents because now <laughs> I work in animation. But um, I really was obsessed with Ninja Turtles, even though I couldn't watch it. I would go to school and ask my friends like what happened. And they would like describe to me, they're like, yeah, there's this like guy and he like had an experiment and he turned into a fly. And I'd be like, this sounds so amazing. So then when I got older and actually like watched old episodes of Ninja Turtles, I was like, oh, this show is actually really bad. <laughs> because in my mind, like these like epic mutation, weird, crazy ninja plots were like so awesome. Do you think that's why you lean towards writing? I do think that's why I lean towards writing because like- Fascinating. I realized like the stories in, that, like, in my head were actually better than wow. the actual stories. Arthur from Facebook wants to know, how do you get past the religious haters? It did take me a while. That was definitely for my coming out process because I grew up, I was raised Catholic. You know, I feel like the biggest religious hater was like the one in, in my own mind. Is that like all the... angry Jesus? Just like thinking that it was wrong because you're told that. Once I get over me thinking it was wrong, then it was really easy to get over other people thinking it was wrong. Joe, do you have any tattoos? I have zero tattoos. Good. I, I did a piercing on your pierced. Did you know that about me? No. I used to have my ear pierced. Which one? I had my left ear pierced. Is that the gay one? I think they say right is gay. I could not imagine it, you with it, a piercing. It, it fell out one day when I was camping <laughs> and I just never... You went thing. camping? <laughs> Which I know. Wow. That's a big surprise. That's the biggest surprise yeah. of all. I went camping and lost an earring. Uh, on a plane. That, is that the question? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's, so it was very long. On a plane? No, I'm on a couch. On a plane, do you think Hat will give his first class seat to you? Hat's riding first class? Apparently my audience thinks very highly. <laughs> yeah, <made. laughs> yeah. You guys, you know what YouTube makes. <laughs> um, you know, even if he did, I would decline because this, he deserves to, also he's taller, so he needs extra labor. <laughs> let's see, let's see. There's a lot of why are you so adorable. Really? Everybody in the world wants to know, <laughs> how did you get so darn cute? I sacrificed a kitten. Was that meant to be funny? I sacrificed a kitty cat. Here's a question. Yeah. Do you like cats? <laughs> weird, that's so weird. <laughs> Look, right there. What? I do like cats, but I'm more of a dog person. You have a dog? I do have a dog. What's your dog's name? Bumbershoot. What do you call him? Bum, Bumby, <laughs> Dumbershoot, Bumbershit, Troubleshoot. There you go. Yeah. Anyways, thanks everyone for submitting your questions. Thanks guys. I hope you learned a thing or two about Joe Worker. Yeah. I hope that my answers prove satisfactory and that you will continue to watch Do You Guys on a Couch. Hmm. This is fun, this is fun. Oh good, I'm yeah. glad. Yeah. What's your favorite Pokemon? Oh, I like Ninetales. Mm-hmm. Why? Because I think I'd be really bad at Pokemon fighting, but I'd be really good at Pokemon cuddling. And <laughs> I think Ninetales would be really cozy to cuddle with. And then when, when he dies, you can make a nice coat. <laughs> hey, Hat, I have a joke for you. Go. Which Pokemon um, bottomed last night? Bulbasaur. <laughs> okay, gotta go. <laughs> Thanks everyone. See you next time.